One of the most rampant disorders that uh, tomato farmers experience is blossom and rot. So blossom and rot is not a disease, it is a disorder. And uh, most farmers will experience this after maybe they've had an issue with the watering or irrigation or uh, your crop uh, had a vigorous growth and uh, you will see this uh, when the fruits are already formed. So this disorder is brought about by calcium deficiency and calcium deficiency doesn't mean that you don't have calcium in your soil. Uh, that can be one of the issues. Another issue is you might be having enough calcium in the soil but the uptake is not optimized. So the uptake of calcium can be impaired or limited by several factors including the way you are irrigating your crop. So if you don't irrigate your crop well, because calcium is not mobile in the plants, it has to be pushed by water to get to the end or the blossom end of the fruit. So if you don't water well your crops, then the calcium doesn't get to the far, farthest end of the, of the fruit. That's why the, 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 the issue will only come at the blossom end of the fruit. So you really need to ensure that you uh, supply enough calcium to your crop and also ensure that uh, apart from supplying enough calcium to your crops, that you don't interfere with the calcium uptake. So ensure that uh, you also manage your irrigation schedule or irrigation scheme, and also ensure that you also have boron uh, supply efficient, sufficient in your, in, your, in your crops, so that uh, you don't also have issues with calcium, because calcium and boron, they go hand in hand. Because this is what you call the calcium boron ratio, and this uh, is very critical in ensuring that your calcium is taken up well and also your fruit expansion is good so ensure you uh, talk to us to ensure that uh, you get the right nutrition regime so that you can avoid blossom and have very good fruits thank you so much